I decided to wear my cool my my hat in a cool way. Oh, backwards. What is yeah. that? Oh, uh, 90s of circa you. Circa 1990. I've been watching a lot of Married with Children. Yeah. And uh, this dude the other day was wearing the most 1992 shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> Go ahead and block this out. Oh, my gosh. What was that for? Dude, that was a fucking microaggression uh, if I've ever seen one. Oh, let me join the club. So, yeah, my Married with Children. This dude was wearing a purple Boom. shirt. A purple button up short sleeve shirt yeah. with like those uh remember those remember those nineties designs that were just like the squiggles? <laughs> yeah. With like little black squiggles all Please over. Please tell me it. you found a oh, shirt yeah. like that. I was like, that's the most nineties shirt I've ever oh, seen. Did you find called? a shirt zoomies? like that? No. Zoomies? Zoomies. <laughs> Bigger <What>? zoomies. <laughs> It up. Is that what it's called? Uh-huh. So, hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back. Zoom answers. I wonder how many people are freaking out that this might be a magna, a MAGA, a MAGA hat. hat? Well, yeah. is it? No. Okay, well, then. It is a Sweetwater hat. <laughs> then go ahead and. Uh, nope. Nobody was thinking about that. <laughs> fucking animal. So. Jesus. Uh, um, D&D. Back to D&D talk. Back to table Zoom rules. Zoom? Welcome oh, back. I'm still trying to find this. He's looking up shirts. But. Yeah, Zubas. I thought that this was pretty 1992 of me. Zuba's pants, there it is, Zuba's. So I went Those ahead and... Uh, These guys? Oh, yeah, but it was a shirt. Yeah, they, well, they make shirts. What? Look at that guy. Oh, can, we, yeah. can, we po- can we post so, these? Yeah, I'll post yeah, yeah, Screenshot. Gonna, whoop. There, that should be big on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Just screenshot that and... <laughs> whoop. All right, but back to... <clears throat> That's going to be a fun audio to edit. Oh, yeah, don't worry. So, I'm going to uh, buy some Zuba's. Bring them back. Be fun. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. bring them right back. Yep. So I'm going to get a Zuba's tattoo. Ooh. It's just like a squiggly line. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's hard to do. So this is the part of the podcast where we open up emails and yeah. answer questions from you guys. It's, what's it called? Email open up time? What's it called? <laughs> Email corner time. Email corner Email time. time. I don't know. Email corner time. Should we move to the corner to read them? <laughs> no. No. This is my bubble. Oh, okay. All right. First email is from Shay. I think it's Shay. I mean, that's How's certainly how it reads. This is S-H-A-Y-E. Trollface the Man, which, by the way, go check out his That's channel. Because he's Shai-y. awesome. Shai-y. He's a badass. Uh, he's okay. a, uh, you, you all probably remember him as the uh, fire-breathing knight in the World's Best RPG video. I don't know how to spell your la- I don't know how to say your last name. I know how to spell no, it because it's right don't there. Even but... I don't even try. I've seen it before. Don't. <laughs> he knows already. He's got one of them names. What do we got from him? A Troll bunch face of the man here. Troll face the man. Got some topic ideas. Bring them on. Uh, Maybe ooh. we should just bleep out his whole name that we just said there. So make sure we bleep out his whole name. Did we say it? Yeah. I'll bleep it out. Oh. Oops. No problem. Uh, his first question is, worst type of players? Murder hobos. <laughs> murder hobos. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty much it. No, I think murder hobo. No, I think what's worse is people that want to break the game. Yep. Ooh, Those yeah. players aren't fun. They it's, rule Nazis. Man, there's a lot of Oh, dude. Yeah. That that so, actually is the worst. Yeah. So that bugs me the most. One, oh, you can't do that. One answer. I need one answer from both of you. All right. From worst player. So what what's yours? Uh Cuz you've said 3. Like I just need one. I don't know. People that break the game. It makes it not fun. It makes it like, look at this, I'm unstoppable and it's like, okay. So so where's yeah. So what are we doing? If you could beat everything, what are we doing? Justin? Murder hobos. You don't have to kill everybody that moves. That's true. That's not a fun time. In fact, you have, I think, I think you're cheating yourself. Personally, I mean, everybody has a preference, but I, I prefer social stuff to combat. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. I like the role-playing aspect way better um, than I do the... Uh, the rules in combat. Combat takes forever. Nobody really likes combat. Yeah, and the, and the role-play stuff can lead to cooler stuff than combat right. combat's pretty much self-explanatory it's Kill like stuff, it, you them. and you roll against yeah. them and then they roll Definitely. against you like there's m- way more involved in the role play stuff yep uh next question is going to be uh worst types and i'll kick that one off and yeah worst types of dms oh we can't uh, just say worst types sorry <laughs> i just cut i cut myself yeah, off i don't like the, <laughs> the find and pick i don't like <laughs> that <laughs> so uh my worst type of dm is uh i'll piggyback off yours uh, the rule Nazi. Yeah. I can't stand him because it doesn't make the game fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, even Guy Gax himself uh, said that uh, something, uh, this is not the verbatim quote, but something along the lines of like the trick that, uh, the trick is to never let the dungeon master know that the rules don't matter. Yeah. Um, 
And it's like, it's so true because the, if you're in a video game, you're pretty much married to the rules of the game because that's what it is. The engine's only going to let you do certain things. Yeah. But when you're in D&D, everything is so much more fluid. And you really just, I mean, I can't even tell you how many times as a DM I've done shit that was 100% against the rules <laughs> or, like, I change things while I'm doing things. Like, I have a certain plan and then things change and you kind of have to change as you go. Yeah. So just because I think that the concept of DMing that way is necessary should, le- should, should lead you to not be so stringent on the rules. You should be, because why? It's not, you know, you're not, it's not a contest. No. You're not being judged. <laughs> There's no money at stake. Like you're just, you're playing a game with your friends. And now I do understand if you want to crack down on like, for instance, being able to throw a chainsaw 150 <laughs> feet. Yeah. But if it's something little, like let people have fun. Let people do stuff. Hmm. Don't be. To be fair, I thought the guy was below me. And I was yeah, going to use gravity to <laughs> drop the train. Yeah, but you know, below no. you in a bathroom. <laughs> well, no, I remember. I remember. I remember that though, because I remember you. That was the that was the main issue. Is that you thought? But we all were just laughing so hard at the idea of throwing, throwing a chainsaw. A chainsaw. Yeah. That um, we just overlooked the fact that you, like, as a first time player. You didn't realize where they were in proximity. Yeah. Like you just entered the room and Posey was like, there's guys in the room. And you're like, oh, I'm well, going to attack with my chainsaw. And he's like, well, he's 150 feet away. I'm gonna and then throw. we all just started laughing. But yeah, yeah. just let people have fun, man. Don't Justin? Be such a... yeah, I don't really know if I have one. Just don't be terrible. All right. <laughs> <laughs> don't gonna... be terrible. 2019, Justin <laughs> Mann. Uh, is railroading okay? And if so, what are the circumstances? Hell yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. fine. Yeah. What did I mean? What are you doing if you're not railroading? Especially, really? Well, look, I mean, you you took all this time to make a a story for these people to play. Like, yeah, let them go off and have their own fun, like adventure time. But if you, if you want to like progress the story, then you're gonna have to railroad, or else they're just gonna go throughout the countryside doing whatever it is that yeah. players do. Yeah, and you can afford detours, but I mean, bringing them back is important because. Yeah, like you said, like you you created this whole story arc. I mean, depending, I guess, on how you're DMing, maybe maybe you haven't created a story arc. Yeah, maybe you're just like we're gonna, you know, we're gonna here's your players Uh, and here's your starting point and just go. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a kind of cool thing to do. In which case, there would really be no need for railroading at all. Yeah, because you'd just kind of be freestyling it the whole way. That that improv, improv your way through. But yeah, but um, but with railroad, like, so the way I DM right is. I, for that night, I make like six characters for them to attack. And then I say, there's three paths that they, they're going to take that they could take. Right? right. And then at the end, end of the day, like it still, it still comes back to the right, path right. that no matter they need where to they go, go they're going to fight whatever the fuck you created in the first yeah. place. Yeah. And then if they don't go back down path A and B, if they go down and see, I have fucking monsters that are that I can use later on in the ca- in the campaign. Yeah, well, that's how it should be too. Like, even as a player, you need some form of railroading because otherwise, it's going to be like, what are you going to do? You're just going to, oh, well, we kill everybody in the town. Like, okay, well, now what? Yeah. Are you just going to go to the next town and kill everybody in there? Like, what are we doing? What what's where's the where's the story? So yeah, railroading is. What do you do with power gamers? Oh, is that the term for people who break the game? Yeah, I assume so. Just it's deal been... with them, I guess. Yeah. I mean, what else are you gonna do? I think, um, I think throw. I think for me as a DM, if somebody's a power gamer, that's when I throw. That's when I throw <laughs> oh, in. God. That's when I throw in shit like that's against the rules, or I'll just put them up, pit them up against something that <laughs> like, like is, at, yeah, <laughs> like that's out of control. All it's right. like, it's oh. like you're an asshole. Here's an asshole back. Yeah, <laughs> like the, well, and then like you know, in the in the D and D in the the rap edition. D and D, like in that rap, when I say like uh, fight a demon lord and a lich, like that's the kind of shit that you're gonna get if you're gonna act like you're untouchable. Yep, it's just like, oh, okay, well, you want to be awesome? Okay, well, here's a fucking level nineteen wizard. Yeah, 
who is yeah, just but then like they get upset They're like what are you doing immune to yeah, crits yeah. i just don't like the people that try yeah when they, you know they try and just be all powerful like gods it just it's annoying to also me. you know the other problem about that is that it's a team game yeah, yeah. it's not you it's right. not about like you killing everything because if that were the case just run a solo campaign yep i mean if you're part of that's the beauty of the game i think is the is the co-op the 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 meshing of all of your everybody brings something to it's like the avengers yeah everybody brings something to the table and you specialize in that like i know that augustus montgomery shouldn't be up against the the dinosaur i found that out but you know if you're a bard you shouldn't be tanking yeah. <laughs> let the tank tank and um yeah last question from shay uh how to deal with players that keep missing sessions? Uh, they're asleep. Yeah, that's that, worked they, for us a lot yeah. in the past. Um, uh, <clears throat> that or just move on. Like if they if they can't be there, then you know they can't yeah, be there. You can kill them off, yeah. or you can just like leave their character. And then I think the the short answer to that would be if it's like if it's a friend and there's a reasonable explanation as to their missing sessions like here's a good example if for if for example we were playing a campaign and warren had to deploy right we're not going to be like fuck you you can't play but what we do in that situation is just say well if he's not available to play then we'll just leave his character here and then once he's <laughs> available again to play we'll just bring him back into the story i think that that's the easiest we've and also, nicest we've, solution we've also done it to where it's like uh someone's schedule work schedule changed and with those that person ran a solo basically a solo campaign right right because you could do stuff with and the then DM you later back up to the party yeah that's the easiest way to do it is just adjust your story as the DM if it's somebody that you're not that good of friends with and you really don't have any kind of like personal attachment to their character being involved just you're asleep either that or you know you're not playing yeah it's just like oh yeah. well, if you're not gonna be here then we're just gonna play without you just assume and then I'm just sorry, introduce them later. Yeah. That's, yep. All right, uh, that's how I would handle it. Let's see what else we got in the inbox. Do 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 do. So, oh. Ooh, let's go back to Chris. Chris what had else? a bunch of questions. What else you got, pal? What is the best way? Chris asks, what is the best way to do word? A world slash story building. Uh, that's a vague question. Uh, oh, he explains it. Oh, <laughs> well, good. I have a huge idea for a campaign that I have started writing and have half of the world built with rough ideas on where places are, but I feel I may be overstretching myself as the campaign will actually be split between two groups Oh, that's cool. In two factions, and at a certain point, they can swap, and should they choose, eventually they will meet up, and that will be the interesting part. Yeah, that'd be awesome playing. Two, that is dope. Two, uh, two groups that are both in the same world. That sounds like you've already got a cool fucking idea. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think, uh, what, world building? Yeah. yeah. I guess you really have to plan that out, because if what they're doing, each group is affecting what's going on in the in the world. When the other group gets there, if there's like a building on fire, it'd be like rubble now, and then they could investigate what yeah. that is. So, yeah. kind of got to just take it as you go, I guess. Um, now, I'm not. Does he mean? I'm not sure if he means like physical world building, in terms of like design, drawing it out. Yeah, because yeah. the, the way to go with that is the macaroni thing. That's the move. What have you seen that? Uh-uh. It's online somewhere. Somebody posted it. It was probably on Reddit or something. But uh, it's this uh, this guy or gal, I'm not sure. They take macaroni and they uh, pour it on a piece of paper. They just oh, yeah. like pour okay. it on a piece of paper. And yeah. then they trace around the ra- the macaroni and then that becomes their world. Oh, shit. So like anywhere that there's macaroni on the paper <gasps> is gets, land mass. gets traced around and is landmass. Um, so that's, that's I would say, a good suggestion for physically designing. If you're somebody like me who is not an artist... Uh, and cannot draw. That's, Dude, I saw, that's the move. I saw a video. Somebody did. Uh, they built their world in Minecraft. Oh, dude. And it's fucking ridiculous. Like, Oh, Minecraft. You can you can see 
me play Minecraft over at uh, Twitch Fridays TV and Sundays slash Cyber Shuttle Bravo Fridays right? and Sundays. Yeah. That's right. But it's it was fucking ridiculous. Like it was badass. Yeah, I bet. They just had like cities because it was like uh, four friend, four or five friends, and they were all competing for the best city. And so they all built these magnificent cities, and then um, th- the the server sizes expanded. So like the middle of it is just like this big square with like islands all in it and then water around it and then more shit around the outside. That's so brilliant because you could just use the, you could just use the POV of playing as like a camera for your player's world. Yeah. Just like, here's where you are. Yeah. And this is what you see. And they have towns and they have like shelters and, oh man. Yeah. They're just like, oh crap, I want to get out Minecraft to build that. But they spent like thousands of hours. Yeah, man. Six people. Thousands of hours. Oh yeah. That's what I should do. I'm going to build it. It is that time. Oh. Oh, that's, what, what time? What? Is it? It's spontaneous. So, role, spontaneous role. Spontaneous time. role play time. Well, this is really spontaneous. Is at the end of the, each episode, huh? Yeah, pretty you much. You should just hit us like, oh, you're in. Well, I guess it's spontaneous in the sense that right, so, uh, we didn't uh, see it coming. Justin, uh, Chaz, Chaz gave a. What's on, what's on your mind, Justin? Um, not much ever. Um, person, place, thing. Noun. Noun. Person, place, and thing. Betty White, oh. Fort Knox, Black Matter. Okay, so Betty White is guarding Black Matter. Black in Matter, matter or, or Dark, dark matter. matter? Dark Matter. Betty White's guarding Dark Matter and for, at Fort Knox? Yes. yes. Oh you, my God, she's a golden girl. I would just like to roll to hang out with her. What are you going to do? I'm going to steal the Dark Matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, gonna, I'm rolling to hang out with her, see if she'll let me. Oh, I rolled an eight. All right. Let me... I'm, uh... Huh. Yep. You fail. <laughs> I'm sneaking into Fort Knox. I'm walking out sad. I'm... I got a 15. Oh, <laughs> she sees you. <laughs> she sees Damn you, it. and you're dead. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Sh- she just looked at me and killed me. Yeah, with those old eyes. Hey, man. Hey, man. What? She's a saint. Yeah, Betty White's awesome. Old eyes. Old, old. She could see right through you. Yeah, so I'm slowly walking out of the building (laughs) because she didn't want to hang out. Yeah, nothing happens to you. You just, you just can't hang out. Like you go up to the gate and ring the doorbell. I'm like, hey, can I uh, hang out with you? And she's like, no. Okay. Well, I guess I'll (laughs) just go get my car and. uh, Go back to your Danish. There's a there's no, a I dead put on body. By myself. There's a dead body on the side of the building. Oh yeah, do I notice that? Nope. No, <laughs> that's a three. <laughs> Justin just well, hits, hits the road. I'm so sad. You notice that you're dead inside. I'm gonna roll to back over <laughs> the dead body because ooh, a thirteen. He get it. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> and my guts go all over the place. <laughs> there are oh, all over what the was place. That? Oh man! All right, we're gonna. Cool. That's where we end it, man. All right. Yeah. So Thanks that'll be watching. this episode. So hey, make sure to like us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Follow us on Twitter and up, uh, do the uh, bell thing ding, ding. Uh, and hit the bell. Put the bell on. Subscribe and then uh, send buy us shirts. questions and buy T-shirts and just listen. We'll just make a list of all Watch of your things videos. that you need to do. <laughs> and uh, oh, we should do like subliminal things. Beep beep. Well, I there's a did. subliminal thing. So right you'll here. just talk. I'll be like. Hey. Buy shirts. Yeah, that's a good Buy idea. Shirts. We got a shirt here. We got yeah. a no big banana like shirt on here. Facebook. Yeah. By the way, if anybody doesn't understand to our the context of that, that's what Ding. that's what I say Ding. for no big deal is no big banana. And I recently there was a, a, a video somebody captured of a uh, a dog uh, with a banana in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Potassium pupper. Huh. That's All a right, big folks. All right. See you next time. Goodbye.